by the end of this video you will be able to add depth of field to your renders so first of all you need to know what actually what that actually means so depth of field means that when you focus into one specific object and the rest of the things are out of focus and blurred out so as you can see i have a basic scene um set out so i have a monkey on top of a plane and i added some basic textures to this so as you can see is a red material and then a black material on that plane and then I also added the HDRI I've got from polyhaven.com. I'll leave the link in the description. So depth of field is a camera setting. So first of all, to actually access the depth of field settings, we have to add a camera to our scene. So we're going to do shift A and we're going to add a camera. I'm going to quickly grab the camera and move it somewhere over there. And then we're going to go into the camera view by pressing numpad zero. And then we're going to quickly move the camera pressing shift and then the tilde key, and then to quickly move our camera around with WASD, something like that, and centering the monkey. So as you can see, I'm gonna quickly go into camera, viewport display and pass part, part out, and get that to one so you can actually see everything inside the camera. So as you can see, the HDRI, the monkey and the plane, all of them are in focus. Now to create cinematic renders and photos and looks what we have to do is we only want to focus into one specific thing to that we know then we basically tell our audience where to focus at so where we get the camera is that we go over here in the camera and set the camera in the camera setting we go to we select the depth of field first of all we're going to enable the depth of field and then we're going to go over here focus on object we're going to select the picker icon and they're going to select our object that we, they, we want to focus on so i'm going to select the suzanne and then what we're going to do to blur out everything else apart from the suzanne or the monkey you decrease the f-stop and then as you can see everything is blurred out except from the thing that we are focusing on the focus on object as you can see the focus on object i don't really like the focus on object i'd rather do the focus distance instead so i'll select the focus distance and that has a better um result so now that is basically the basics of depth of field you also have blaze rotation ratio i don't really use that i only use the f stop in the aperture and i normally use the focus distance now to actually show you how powerful depth of field is I'm going to quickly go out of the camera view and I'm going to add a cube over here. Shift A. I'm, actually, I'm going to add a UV sphere instead. I'm going to quickly scale it down and then I quickly move it over here. Scale it down. Grab it. Something like that. Leave it like here. Rough one and shade it smooth and add a quick texture to this. I'm going to quickly add a pinkish texture. Now, as you can see, right now when I'm in the camera setting, this is blurred out. Now what I want to do, I want that specific um, UV sphere, this UV sphere, to be in focus. Now the way we do this is that we are going to go over here in our camera settings and in the um, focus distance, we're going to select the picker and then we're going to select our um, UV sphere. And as you can see, now our UV sphere is in focus and every single else is not in focus. And that is the power of the depth of field in Blender. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll watch my other videos and I'll see you over there.